Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissight, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Thank you for joining us. However, you may be joining us. We appreciate it very, very much. And listen, you know, as a social worker, I come on and talk about all the things that are important in our communities, especially when it comes to people who need and deserve a second chance. There's nobody better to talk about that with than Hester Serrano. Hester, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Keith, again. All right. We appreciate <laughs> it. We appreciate it. Joining her, Ms. Laura Fungi Rougeau, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me as well. Awesome. Now, listen, people don't always, I know we could put all your letters up there and people can ask what, what the definition of all those terms are. Uh, but in a nutshell, let's just talk about what you guys do and how and why it's so important. Hester, let's start with you. So let's talk now. I work, I'm the reentry program manager for the Department of Public Safety Division Probation Parole. With that being said, April, the month of April, is recognized as Second Chance Month, yep. not just locally, not just for the state, but nationwide. Mm -hmm. um, it helps us to, to recognize the gaps, the barriers, the challenges faced by those that are justice involved coming either back to our communities or already in our communities, and what we need to address to help them and to make sure they have what they need to be successful, to keep right. them out of the system, to keep recidivism rates down, mm -hmm. and to ensure public safety increases and that we have less victims because they are now they they have the opportunity to become productive, right, right? and and reintegrate back into society. Right. So, but Second Chance Month also allows us to recognize those organizations and those agencies that provide those opportunities. And one of those agencies, I'm so fortunate to have her here with me all the time. I'm right. more here with her a lot of times. Right. But the Louisiana Workforce Commission is one of those partners. Right. And you've had us here before. Where sure. We've talked about, and we will talk about a little bit later, um, our resource and, and career fairs that we're mm -hmm. able to organize with them. So the importance of the month of April when it comes to recognizing those not just the individuals that need the second chances, mm. but the agencies and organizations that provide it. Right. Because we can't do it without both. Right. And, and look, partnering, one of those big things, as we talk about it all the time, about how you partner and with whom and to make those things happen. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what y'all are doing, Laura, and how that's working, because it's working well. Yeah, so um, um, as Hester said, that you know we partner together to uh, make sure we connect uh, all the entities that are involved that you know that need each other. You know, we have employers that I work with. Uh, so I'm the industry sector coordinator right. for the energy industry specifically uh, for the state, but um, I'm also locally here in Homa and based out of here, and um, have been working with the employers in the area. Um, and, and hearing their needs and assessing their needs. And um, of course, we have this other population out there that they need so much help with education and training um, and, and the access to those employers. So I work closely with Hester and uh, other local partners to make sure that we, we get those opportunities out there and those needs met for both the employer and for the individuals. And, and it's one of those things where a lot of these entities don't ha necessarily have to partner, right? They can kind of choose to get their workforce wherever they can, but being able to join forces with both of you to be able to see how to really get some productive people and how to start working on that before people get out, right? How we make re-entry seamless is one of the things we talk about. It, oh, absolutely. So one of the ways that we do make re-entry seamless, and, and as she just discussed, finding out what those employers, what their needs are, mm -hmm. and then Working, I'm going to say working backwards, but making sure that we know when it comes to the Department of Corrections, your local agencies with LeFou Sheriff's Office and Terrebonne Sheriff's Office, know, understanding what's needed in our communities so that we can make sure that we're able to do those trainings. And mm -hmm. whether it's industrial-based certifications or, like she mentioned, education, yeah, education right. even higher education, because Ashland University offers programs within um, our regional reentry center and the, our Department of Corrections facilities, our day reporting center, you know, we offer education at many different levels mm -hmm. because we know it's needed, but we wouldn't know those needs if we didn't have the partnerships that we have. Right. And that allows us to start before they're ever released, mm -hmm. um, addressing some of those barriers and some of those challenges, 
so that as they return or as they come out on supervision with the division of probation and parole, we already have some of that sorted through, have it lined up so that it's a seamless transition, much like you just said, it becomes seamless uh, coming back into society. And so when it comes to working with Laura and the Louisiana Workforce Commission, those jobs are there. They're, we just need to make sure they're prepared. Mm -hmm. And we can make those connections. Right. And again, finding a way to see what we need. Right now, it seems like everybody's looking for people to work, right? And we're, we're wanting to make sure that we're getting some qualified candidates to be able to do that and making sure that they've got the right background, the right education, and that they're, they're able to go into a position like that that makes it easier for the employer, right? We want to make it easier for everybody. Absolutely. That's the whole goal, right? And partnerships are a way to do that. We talk about that in our communities all the time, partnering with Turbine Parish, partnering with Lafouche Parish, uh, the Sheriff's Office, and making sure that they uh, kind of understand what you're identifying as a need, what you're seeing as a, as a hurdle or a roadblock to that, and trying to remove some of those doing needs identification and really being able to figure that out. Uh, and so it's got to be exciting. I mean, you guys had an opportunity to do that at Fletcher today, right? We did. Yeah. So positive impact? I would say so. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I mean, think that's, that's the, the challenge is getting the word out to everyone so that they know when we put on these, um, these events to, to educate them about the different programs that we have, mm -hmm. such as the employer forum that we had today. Right. Um, you know, it, it's just, uh, us putting it on more frequently annually, you know, and getting the word out so that they can uh, attend those and, and, and find out what kind of programs we have that can help them. Well, we're going to do a couple of different things. We're going to take a break, but when we come back, we're going to let people know about some things that are taking place this week. We're going to let them know about some things that are taking place next week. Lots of opportunities for people, lots of opportunity for industry to get involved, to come and be able to say, hey, I need some workers, and a way for we, us to let people know, hey, come and check this out. This is an opportunity for you to make things easier, right? All right, so you guys stick around. We're going to do that. Yeah. Yep, very cool. All right, you stick around as well. We'll be right back here on Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. Social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissight, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it. Very glad to have with us Hester and Laura. Welcome back, ladies. Thank you all for sticking around. Thank you. Absolutely. And so it's one of those things to partner with people. It's one of those things to say that we're going to get some things done, but y'all are getting things done all the time. We, we've got this event tomorrow, this Get Connected event, right? So Aaron, tell us, uh, show that if you don't mind. And uh, Hester will tell us a little bit about that one. Yes, yeah, so our Lafouche Day Reporting Center, which is uh, operated by the Lafouche Parish Sheriff's Office, is hosting a um, job and resource fair tomorrow, right. actually, at the Lafouche Day Reporting Center. And the address is on your screen there. It's located at 509 St. Mary Street, Suite H. Right. I usually like to tell people it's next door to AutoZone. On yes, Saint Mary right Street. next to AutoZone. That's the best way to do it. And the door actually says Lafouche DRC. Mm -hmm. Right. So, and, and 10 to 1. 10 right? to 1. 10 to 1 tomorrow. Join us, please. Yeah. Um, and if you're in need of employment or resources, and it kind of lists on that flyer what's available, healthcare, right. employment, education, trainings. Right. Yeah. Those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Thank you, Aaron. We appreciate that. And this is one of those things where both of you have been very involved in the one that's taking place next week. Let's talk about that one, because you guys have gotten lots of different places, lots of different people involved. And, and this one is the Second Chance Career and Resource Fair, right? So it is. It is. And we're hosting it during Second Chance Month, which we already touched right. on Second April. Chance Month. Correct. However, it's important to re, uh, to talk about the fact that reentry is not just reactive to those coming uh, that have already been through the system, but also proactive. Right. If we can keep people out of the judicial system by giving them the um, resources that they need, mm -hmm. then it's a win-win. Right. Right. It's a win-win. So reentry is not just reactive or proactive. So our second chance career and resource fairs are our give back to the community so that we are able to give those opportunities to everyone in hopes, not just the individuals on supervision, 
are, are going to be that they're in need of these resources, but also those within the community. Right. And, and Laura, y'all have been working really hard to get a wonderful grouping of, of employers in the area to be able to do that. Yeah, so um, we have quite a few different industries that, I mean, uh, of various right. sort that are going to be attending at uh, both of the career uh, career and resource fairs next week. Um, and so you've got, you know, healthcare, you've got um, oil and gas, you've got maritime, you have manufacturing. Um, and then, of course, we have all of our resource partners as well that are going to be there. So it's a it's a great combination for for anyone to come out and and, um, and just, you know, see what they can find to, to help them. Yeah, and again, this is our proactive way of getting people well-trained, knowing what the needs are, to be able to let them know what's available in the community. So, Aaron, put that back up for me, if you don't mind. Kind of want to let people know that it's going to take place on uh, in Terrebonne Parish. It's on Tuesday, April 23rd, from 11 to 2 at the Municipal Auditorium, uh, 880 Verrett Street in Homa. Then the one in Lafouche Parish is on Thursday, April 25th. Uh, it's kind of like a Tuesday-Thursday class at Nichols, right? <laughs> uh, and that one's from 11 to 2 as well, and that's at the Harang Auditorium which is 310 North Canal Street. Uh, and right there, I'm very glad, Aaron, I appreciate you doing that. You put the QR code up, and that is for anybody who's interested in that, or if anybody that's interested in coming out to be one of the people that are going to uh, come and let them know what, what's available, right, for your agency. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, they're right there next to each other. It's the Second Chance Career and Resource Fairs. Uh, and again, use the QR code. You can get a lot more information about that. While we're doing that, Hester, let people know how, maybe how they can reach out to you directly if they want to get more information. Sure. Um, you can reach out by email. It's okay. hester.serrano at la.gov. Um, I know we had it up there on the screen earlier mm -hmm. right. at H-E-S-T-E-R dot right. S-E-R-R-A-N-O right. at L-A dot gov. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, again, uh, put her name back up if you don't mind. Erin, um, if we don't mind doing that so people can realize how, how to spell that, that's Hester dot Serrano. Right. Very good. Yep. And, and that's what we do that. Uh, how about for you, Laura, if we want to have people find you? Yep. So if any employers are interested in attending, uh, we still have maybe a few spots left i'm not okay, quite right. sure we might getting but small which even, is great right we still, want we, that many as we'd possible we'd love to connect either way um we have other events that we're going to be organizing coming up soon as well so um and this event is open to the public so it is for the community uh, but if an employer is interested they can contact me at l fungi which is f-a-n-g-u-y right. at l-w-c dot l-a dot gov there you go Whew. That's a, that's one of the, but again, it's important for people to know how to reach out, important for people to know how they can get in touch with you and do that. And again, uh, April is second chance month across the country. Uh, nobody does that better than we do down here because we give people second chances and you guys work so hard to make sure of that we're very, very thankful and appreciative for that. Uh, so Aaron, I want the flyer up one more time. I want people that may have missed it a minute ago to know that the second chance career and resource fairs, there's two of them, Terrebonne Parish, Tuesday, April 23rd, 11 to two at Municipal Auditorium, 880 Verrett Street here in Homa, and Lafouche Parish on Thursday, April 25th, 11 to two as well at Harang Auditorium, 310 North Canal Street in Thibodeau. And again, the QR codes there, very very easy for you to join, get more information, or you can reach out to Laura or to Hester. Uh, so Hester, some final thoughts. We're excited about these kinds of programs because we're helping people get their needs met and we're preventing them from going back into the just judicial system, right? That is correct. That is, that is our goal. Our goal is within our communities to make sure that those that are returning home have opportunities that maybe they didn't have before. Right. And we do that by working together. Yeah, partnership. So, absolutely. So if the community pulls together in order to better their community, right. then there's no losing. Yeah, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. Absolutely. Laura, some final thoughts from you. Excited about uh, all of these people. It's, it's, it's a wonderful group, and we, we may run out of room. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that's an exciting thing to have uh, as, a, as, a, as a problem if we run out of room. That's exactly <laughs> it. But, but a good problem to have, right? Exactly. <laughs> and, and again, so we appreciate the partnerships. We appreciate what y'all do for each other. We certainly appreciate what you're doing for the community. And for those people that need a second chance, and everybody needs second chances, uh, thank you for having that opportunity. We're glad to be able to do it in April and glad to be a part. It. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so Keith. much, Keith. All right. All right, guys, that'll do it for us and for this Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more local programming right here on HTV.